What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Metaler here. Uh, back with another video. This time it's going to be a top 10. Um, yes, you're only going to hear my voice today because I'm using my phone right now. So, plus, um, it's going to be a shorter video. So, anyway, um, yeah, top 10 best metal core bands in my personal opinion. So let's go ahead and begin. All right. Now, starting up at number 10, I got is Heaven Shall Burn. Um, I know some people may say this is melodic death metal, but to me, it sounds more metalcore. Yes, it has a lot of symphonic sounds in the background, but they're a great um, band. They're very underrated, too. They're from Germany. So this band is definitely worth checking out. I don't think this band has any clean vocals at all, as far as I remember. If so, it's probably very rare. But yeah, definitely a great band that's worth checking out. Up next at number 9 I got is the Acacia Strain. Really great band. Yes, there are some deathcore elements as well, but I consider them more as metalcore than deathcore. Really underrated band. I love the sludge metal elements throughout their music and I just love the riffs and the vocals I forgot that dude's name I know his first name is Vincent but I forgot his last name but yeah the Acacia Strain really great band definitely worth checking out at number 8 I got is As I Lay Dying yes I know what Tim Lombesis did was pretty bad with the Hitman thing but I've already explained all that before in my previous videos. But yeah, As I Lay Dying, really great band. Um, I really, definitely one of the more influential metal core bands as far as I remember. So yeah, um, really great melodies, really great guitar riffs, great breakdowns. That's all I have to say here about As I Lay Dying. So there you go. Number seven, it's, I know some people may say it's somewhat uh, metalcore, but but to me, I consider them as metalcore. At number seven, I got is Between the Buried and Me. Yes, they're mainly prog metal, but it has a lot of metalcore elements throughout. So, yeah, they belong in this list. I really do enjoy their color albums, Colors 1 and Colors 2, Colors 2, which is their latest album, and oh boy, that album did not disappoint, that band is definitely worth checking out, Colors is easily a masterpiece album, so that album is definitely worth checking out, so Between the Buried and Me definitely belongs in my top 10 list. Number 6 I got is Unearth. Now, Unearth is definitely an underrated band for me. Um, I definitely enjoyed their um, album, The Upcoming Storm, which came out in 2004. Really great band. Yes, they're one of the few metalcore bands that doesn't really use clean vocals. I mean, well, they do, but it's just a few songs that they use clean vocals. But besides all that... They're a really great metalcore band. They're actually considered as melodic metalcore. Mainly because of the guitar melodies throughout. But at the same time, they kind of use a lot of breakdowns throughout. And it definitely fits well with their music. So, yeah. Unearth, really great band. At number five, a really underrated band that not a lot of people talk about. And that is Bleeding Through. Bleeding Through is probably one of their heavier metalcore bands of all time. It's a mixture with symphonic metal and some elements of black metal. And it definitely fits with the metalcore genre. I definitely do enjoy the riffs. Love the vocals. Everything. Um, it has a lot of symphonic metal sound uh, with a piano and the and cymbal strings and all that. So... Yeah, I definitely 
do enjoy bleeding through through um discography really great band definitely one of their heavier bands that i've heard number four i got is kill switch engage you guys let me know definitely in my top five i kind of grew up with that band one of the first metalcore bands i listened to so yeah i definitely enjoy kill switch engage really great band um songs like my curse the end of heartache etc so yeah i definitely do enjoy kill switch engage a lot number three um maybe an unpopular pick i'm gonna pick periphery I know many people say they're more of gent band, and yes, they are, but it has a lot of metalcore elements to it throughout their um, discography, so I consider them as metalcore. Periphery, I definitely do enjoy this band. Originally, I did not like them at first, mainly because of the vocals, but now I'm used to it, and the vocals does fit with the music, so I definitely do enjoy it. In fact... The lead vocal, Spencer Sotelo, he sounds a lot like Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park, in my opinion. So there's that. I and I also like their. I definitely like their latest album. Gin is not a genre. Um, really good. They have some of the heaviest songs, especially the song "Everything Is Fine," which is from their latest album. That song is heavy as shit. To be quite honest with you, holy fuck, especially the outro. My, I think my brain exploded when I listened to it the first time. Like, holy shit. So, yeah. Briefly definitely belongs on my list here. Number two, very underrated band. Not a lot of people talk about. And that would be Chimera. Holy shit, I definitely enjoy Chimera a whole lot. Um, really great songs. Nothing Remains, Six, Resurrection, Power Trip, Pure Hatred, uh, The Venom Inside, Impending Doom. Shit tons of songs I do like. Very great band. Um, yes, their first album is new metal, but after that, they turned, they moved into metalcore. So, yeah, and I think one of their songs, Army of Me, is from the Freddy vs. Jason soundtrack. Really great band. Definitely worth checking out. Um, absolutely, it's too bad that this band broke up for some reason. Um, I know the lead uh, vocals, Mark Hunter, is the only uh, member who is in the entire band discography. And unfortunately... Due to too many lineup changes, the band is broken up. I know they did a one-off you know, back in 2017 and then again this year, but they split once again, which is a damn shame. So, yeah, but Chimera is definitely at number two. Now, before I get to the number one spot, I have some honorable mentions, so... Here are some. Here are the honorable mentions. All that remains: Bullet from My Valentine, Shadows Fall, Code Orange, August Burns Red, and Buried Tomorrow. So these are the honorable mentions. So on to number one. And you guys let me know what my number one is. Is of course Trivium. I fucking love Trivium. One of my favorite bands of all time. It has to be at number one. I, I really can't change. I really can't see any band that beats Trivium. They have too much topic variety throughout their music. Um, yeah, there's some, there's a few albums that are not considered metalcore. I know Crusade is mainly like thrash metal. Silence in the Snow, in the Snow, completely abandons the harsh vocals, and so on. But yeah, Trivium, an amazing band. I definitely do love Trivium. Uh, Shogun is just a masterpiece album, in my opinion. So, there you go. So, Trivium is number one. Alright, guys. So, that is my list here. And I should have done it at the beginning, before y'all guys comment. Where it's like Limit Gun. I, the list considers bands that are metalcore throughout their music. Basically... I'm not including bands with a few, a little bit of metalcore, like for example, 
Lamb of God and Avenged Sevenfold early materials or metalcore but they pretty much abandoned that genre afterwards so I didn't include those bands on there so there's that but anyway guys that's my top 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here so I'm out